there's a, a few times in a bike race that it's easy and there's sometimes that it's hard and when it's hard you try and keep your mind as quiet as possible and not focus too much on how much it hurts because it hurts for everybody we're here at the engine tour of california an eight-day stage race going from the south to the north, one of the biggest premier cycling events in North America. It's a big, there's a big mental challenge when you come to a race like this. The mountains, the time trial, the heat up to 111 degrees on certain stages. We're definitely making a mark as a domestic team here in the United States going up against the best in the world. This is the Nissan King of the Mountains biggie of the day here. It's a first category climb, the steepest of the day and indeed the longest of the tour. The very first day we were able to put two guys on the podium with uh, Jim Stemper in the Most Courageous Jersey Award and Paco Mancebo uh, finishing second on the stage. Mancebo is being forced to lead out this trip. Hace años corría el Pro Tour de un equipo pequeño que somos como una como una gran familia, ¿no? Por mi parte, intentando enseñar a, a los jóvenes ¿no? que, que tienen muchas posibilidades de, de pasar a Pro Tour, pues, y creo que mi experiencia pues, lo sirve de algo. So Mancebo is closing in on Molitos, and look at this right now. Being joined by Francisco Mancebo, but how long will Mancebo stay there? Because he is renowned yeah. as a very, very good climber. About a second? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as a continental team, you're, you're a smaller team, but their ambition is just as great as those on the Pro Tour teams. And so when they stand on that start line, they're equal. And the only difference is the fitness, the legs, the power. In the end, it comes down to fitness, it comes down to talent, it comes down to ambition, the want, the desire, the heart. All of that plays into uh, who crosses that finish line first.